In every Pokemon game near the beginning, there's always a character who teaches you one of the most essential things you'll need to know. How to catch a Pokemon. Usually it's a professor or one of your friends, but sometimes it's just a random dude or even a grumpy old man who just wants some coffee. And a lot of these tutorials are pretty similar. They send out a Pokemon, weaken the wild Pokemon, and eventually throw a ball at it, catching it and showing you how it's done. But what if it went wrong? What if, for some reason, the person showing you how to catch a Pokemon couldn't even catch it themselves? I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and today we're going to be seeing what happens when the catching tutorial fails in Pokemon games. So let's start things off today with Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver because I've been playing those games a lot lately. Now you know something's wrong right off the bat because I started with Chikorita. But basically at this point I just went to Elm's Lab, got my starter Pokemon, and now we're ready to head on to Route 29 and catch our first Pokemon, but we need Lyra, friendly rival here, to show us how it's done. She'll give us a little greeting, Poketip, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs, follow me. We have to come into the grass with her, and just like normal, Lyra's going to run into a Rattata. She'll send out her Marrow, but unfortunately this battle isn't going to go very well for her. So she's going to try going for Tackle, and it's going to work. And let's see, that health is going to go down, but Rattata is going to use Explosion. Yeah, Lyra, I don't think you're going to be catching that Rattata today. Ooh, wow, the Marrow actually survived on 1 HP. And look, it actually gains experience points. Normally you never see that happen. But it looks like she's just gonna try playing it off like nothing happened. See? Just like that. It's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. Uh, Lyra, you made it explode. I don't think the HP gets much lower than that. But she gives us the Pokeballs, and I guess she's on her way. That's actually pretty interesting. So one thing that we never ever get to see that happened there was the Marrow actually gaining experience points, and I guess the way the game handles it is it treats it like a traded Pokemon. I actually wonder now, if we gave that Marrow a whole bunch of experience points, let's say we used the cheat code so Rattata would give it like a gazillion experience points after the battle, would we be able to get it to evolve? We'll try that out in a moment, but first I want to see something else too. Alright, so we're going to have Lyra show us the catching tutorial again, but this this time, I want to see what happens if the Rattata actually knocks out her Marrow with Explosion. So she's going to go for Tackle once again, it'll do a little damage, and that Rattata is just going to EXPLODE! And let's see, will this do enough damage to take out the Marrow? Yes! So let's see, Marrow fainted, and the Rattata is down as well, what's going to happen here? Are we going to white out? Lyra is out of usable Pokémon. Lots of dots down there, and it looks like Lyra actually blacked out, so what's gonna happen here? Nothing? <laughs> she just straight up whited out, usually that sends you home or to a Pokemon Center, but I guess Lyra has the amazing skill of being able to ignore death and just keep going. Alright, next test. Now we're gonna make it so she knocks out the Pokemon and gets an insane amount of EXP from doing it. Let's see what happens. Okay, Meryl's gonna live at 1 HP, and the experience should be insane here. Let's see, 4,885 experience points. I mean, look, it's an exploding Rattata, so of course that thing would give a lot of experience. And yes, it looks like her Meryl can just level up like crazy. And learn new moves too, now it is Tail Whip. Right, level 15, and ooh, now it's trying to learn a new move, Rollout! Okay, what's gonna happen here? Can I control her Pokémon and teach it Rollout? Wait a second! Is that the catching tutorial hand? Is the game auto-selecting those options there? This is weird. <laughs> this is really, really weird. It keeps looping over and over and over again. You can see the white hand popping up and it's selecting keep old moves down there, which brings us to this screen where it says, should this Pokemon give up on learning a new move? And then it keeps selecting again the bottom option, which is don't give up on rollout. That brings us right back to the beginning where it tries asking us if we want to delete a move for rollout and the game is going to say, no, keep old moves. So we are stuck here. I can't level up this Marrow past level 15 because the game still thinks we're in the catching tutorial and won't let me control anything. Alright, so now I'm gonna modify the game so Meryl doesn't learn any moves at all and they'll make it so Rattata gives like a gazillion experience points so we could get Meryl to its evolution level without something stopping us. I want to see what happens if we could actually manage to evolve Lyra's Meryl. This video is taking all kinds of weird turns and I'm loving it. 
All right, I lied. Meryl's gonna learn to move at level 23 because I didn't think Meryl was gonna get to level 23. Please stop leveling up now, Meryl. Okay. <gasps> yes! We're evolving her Meryl! <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> This is an insane catching tutorial right now. She came here to teach us how to catch a Pokemon. It exploded in her face and now her Meryl is evolving into an Azu Meryl. This doesn't even happen during the regular game. So is it going to reflect that in the overworld? No, she still just has a regular Meryl in the overworld and gives us the Pokeballs like nothing happens. She doesn't even mention that her Meryl evolved at all and she's just gonna go. So yeah, even though that Meryl evolved in that battle, the game is just gonna go on pretending like it didn't even happen. That's definitely something pretty interesting to see though. Normally, that never, ever, ever happens. So Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that was surprisingly fun. Let's try breaking the catching tutorial in Diamond and Pearl now. In this game, it's Dawn who teaches you how to catch a Pokemon, or Lucas if you're playing as a girl, and let's see how this goes for Dawn today. So she's running into the Pokemon Bidoof, which we all know is the most powerful Pokemon in existence, even Arceus cowers in fear from this thing, and she's got a Chimchar! My favorite Sinnoh starter. Well, Dawn, good luck. You're in this video, so something's gonna go wrong. She's gonna select Scratch, which apparently uses a lot of Chimchar's health there. <laughs> this thing is dead, but still getting in one final attack. And that's right, that Bidoof is gonna be living. But Chimchar is down. I guess that Scratch took too much energy out of her. Dawn is out of usable Pokemon. Is she gonna black out too? Dawn blacked out. Okay, what's gonna happen here? Are we gonna go to a center? Oh no! We're still gonna be on Route 202! And she's laughing about it too. See, isn't it neat? I guess being part of the catching tutorial gives all these people superpowers, and they'll just continue talking like nothing happened after that. She's even giving me five Pokeballs. And now she's just gonna go walk away without a single healthy Pokemon, because you saw that too. The only Pokemon she had was Chimchar. That thing fainted from using a scratch, and then she just walked away. What happens if she encounters a Pokemon on her way to Jubilife City? And finally, for the last catching tutorial that we're gonna break, we're gonna be jumping over to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Now in these games, they kind of put a little twist on the catching tutorial, which I do really like. Instead of somebody showing you how to catch a Pokemon, technically the way the story plays out, you're helping a new trainer, Wally, catch his first Pokemon. All right, so here we go, and the Pokemon that Wally encounters is his Ralts. At level 5, too, a pretty good Ralts. Well, Wally, let's see what you got. This is your first time ever trying to catch a Pokemon? Don't mess it up. Pup, oh, you messed it up. Better luck next time, Wally? And like usual, <laughs> the game just plays on. I did it! It's my... my Pokemon! But then the worst part about all of this is we go back to the gym, and I guess we lie to my dad and tell him that we actually caught it, even though it teleported nope. away. I guess that's just my character covering up for Wally so it doesn't feel too bad. Now, just in case you're wondering, when you eventually battle Wally later on in the game, even though it teleported away at the beginning, he'll still use the Ralts in battle just like he caught it. Now here's a little interesting fun fact for you. In the normal, unmodified, no cheats, no hacks, no nothing versions of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, it is possible in very, very rare circumstances that when Wally tries to catch the wild Ralts, he'll actually do enough damage over the two turns that he attacks it to knock out the Ralts with the Zigzagoon. Even though the battle is scripted and you can't really control it, there is an element of randomness here where in each encounter the Zigzagoon and Ralts stats are generated, and it just so happens that if the Zigzagoon is generated with the right attack stats, and the Ralts is generated with bad defense and HP, it is possible for him to knock it out during normal gameplay, and the same thing would happen, he'll just pretend that he caught it. Also, take note here that the Zigzagoon, even though it gains 50 EXP, the bar doesn't move at all, so unfortunately we can't boost the EXP and see this thing evolve. From what I've seen online, I'm not sure of the exact number, but there's around the 1 in 9,000 chance of this happening in the regular gameplay, so it's like the same chance of you finding a shiny. Speaking of which, you probably already know this, but the Ralts Wally encounters also has a chance of being shiny. So for Wally's very first attempt at catching a Pokemon, he could find the shiny Pokemon and knock it out in battle accidentally. 
Now, normally this is the part of the video where I would include more Pokemon games, however, you can't really break the catching tutorial in other games. In the first two generations of Pokemon, there's no battle. The guys just throw a Pokeball at it and catch it immediately, so there's not really much you could break there. And starting from Generation 5, I'm not really sure what happened, but they got super strict with the catching tutorials, and you can't really mess with those. Probably because they didn't want to repeat of the whole Ralts incident happening. Seriously, look at this nonsense. I'm over here trying to do the catching tutorial in Pokemon X and Y, we're sending out the Fletchling with an insane move set, and the game's gonna totally ignore the moves that I know and use Tackle. I tried doing all kinds of changes with these games, like making my moves hurt myself instead of the wild Pokemon, making it so the wild Pokemon only had 1 HP, but no matter what I would do, the catching tutorial would just be too OP and ignore all of my changes. There might be a way to break the catching tutorials in these games, but it would definitely require some advanced coding, so for right now, I'm stumped. So my friends, down in the comment section below, let me know which game you enjoyed seeing break the most. I really like seeing Lyra's Meryl evolve. We never get to see that normally, so seeing that happen was pretty crazy. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, make sure you give it a big thumbs up right now, and subscribe if you're new and you enjoy my Pokemon content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.